Meghan Markle is dead tired of all the negative press about her. Prince Harry may believe that the best way to stop the media from painting a bad picture of his wife is to sue them, but his wife also reportedly has some strategies to repair her damaged image. It reportedly includes using their son, baby Archie. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may now be married for over two years now, and their child now already a few days older than five months, the world is still yet to warm up to Markle. If there is an indication of how people feel about the Duchess, the continuous emergence of bad reports about her showed this. While there are occasional GD reports about her, the former Suits actress has undoubtedly suffered more negative publicity ever since the start of her romance with Prince Harry. Frankly, some people are starting to tire of these certain reports of Markle breaking some royal protocol time and time again. Multiple scandals since her marriage to Prince Harry, Markle is reportedly so ready to repair her reputation. She's certainly not losing this fight without giving it all. First, she hired Madison Avenue public relations firm, Sunshine Sachs, to help her. According to Page Six, Markle is looking to break the internet with the help of this PR company. While not explicitly mentioned, Page Six surmised that breaking the internet is short for letting the public see her in a better light. Another method that Markle s reportedly engaging in to make people finally fall in love with her is to give the public increased chances to see her firstborn, baby Archie. For months, the royal couple strive to keep their baby hidden from the public eye, even making sure his christening ceremony is done very privately. Their actions certainly widened the divide already present between them and the public. However, during their recent trip to Africa, it is apparent that Markle is so much more willing to show off the baby now. The baby was in tow on several meetings and engagements, even. It remains to be seen if these methods can work. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry were set on making history by having their young son Archie attend a key meeting during their royal tour of South Africa, royal expert Juliet Ryden claimed. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry enjoyed their first royal tour as a family while meeting with activists and charity volunteers across South Africa and three other African nations. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex brought their four-month-old son Archie Harrison along on the tour and had the young royal make his official debut at a meeting with Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Royal commentator Juliet Ryden claimed the couple wanted to make history by having Archie attend such a poignant engagement. Speaking to Nine News Australia, Ms Ryden said, It obviously meant a lot to both Meghan and Harry, to do it that way. Normally, when we see a young child, We've never seen a four-month-old on tour before. When we saw William on tour or when we saw George on tour as babies, it was in a playdate scenario with other children. Or in a situation where there were parents around and it was a sort of mother and baby scenario. Archie is going straight for the jugular here, isn't he? Ms Ryden continued, he's going to be a world leader, he is meeting a world leader. Harry and Meghan knew exactly what they were doing there. They wanted to make history and they definitely did. Archie broke royal records with his participation in the tour, as members of the royal family had previously waited for their tots to be slightly older before jetting them off on tour. Prince William was nine months old when Prince Charles and Princess Diana took their firstborn to Australia in the spring of 1983. And William later followed in his parents' footsteps when he and wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge had their nine-month-old son Prince George travel with them to Australia in 2014. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex strictly monitored news on the event Archie attended, keeping the press in the dark until the last minute and sharing a video of the meeting with Archbishop Tutu on their personal Instagram account. In the video, Meghan could be seen tenderly cradling her son as she walked next to Prince Harry to meet the Archbishop. During the walk the Duchess could also be heard referring to Archie by his nickname Bubba. The little royal cooed and giggled throughout tea with the Archbishop Tutu and his daughter Thandka Tutu Xash and even appeared to eye up the cake stand. Meghan revealed many of her engagements had been catered around her baby son's schedule. Following their return from South Africa last week, the couple dived back into their routine and announced the monthly theme for their social media followers as Meghan and Harry announced in the summer they would focus on different aspects of charity work. 
the Duke and Duchess chose the theme community for October to shine a light on accounts that reflect togetherness to help promote the cause. The pair followed 17 new accounts, including the Black Mambas Initiative, an all-women's anti-poaching organization based in South Africa, and Green Light Trust, an environmental education charity supporting people to rebuild and refocus their lives through the power of nature. Earlier this week, Meghan and Harry also debuted on a TV spot alongside Prince William and Kate to promote a new online mental health awareness scheme offered by the NHS and Public Health England.